You fall three times in one round, the fight's over. The bell does not save you. Let's shake hands, come on, fight. You see him using the jab a little bit more. Trying to clear the left hook. And down goes Terrell. An excellent counter left hook from Morrison. That shows you the improvement of this young man. That is his big weapon, and Terrell trying to shake it off. Here we go. Harry Terrell, a veteran, holding on now. Three knockdown rule in effect. Terrell trying to survive this first round. He's got 43 seconds to do it. Again, Morrison looking for the uppercut. He used it effectively earlier. Missed with the right hand. Just missed. Well, Harry Terrell said, I didn't come here to lay down. I came here to fight. And he is fighting, but he's also getting blocked by that Morrison left hand. But you know what? Harry Terrell has read in the nose of Morrison. He's landing some punches, but he just is absorbing too many power shots from Morrison. Well, those 38 years may come into play in a hurry at 227 pounds. Oh, big right hand! If he gets up, I'll be the most surprised person in the Coliseum. This fight should be over. Al Munoz should stop this fight. He is he got stopping. to his feet, but he stopped the fight. Another first round knockout for Tommy the Duke Morrison. And this time it came as a result of the overhand right by Morrison. And that's what we've been talking about is the fact that this young man continues, he's excited this crowd as you can see, continues to improve every fight and show us different punches in his arsenal. Well, no one was going to mistake Harry Terrell for a top contender, but he trained hard for this fight and uh, felt that he could do a little bit better. Well, one of the features we have here on ESPN is our punch counter. And with that right hand by Tommy Morrison, Harry Terrell almost became a part of our punch counter. <laughs> he, uh, he fell right into the punch profile uh, computers of uh, yes. Bob Kenobi and Logan Hobson. We almost had to count them out. We will see the first knockdown. Good short left hand by Morrison. And th there's a good example of how he shortened up that left hook. And here is the final knockdown. Overhand right. There it is. He heads through the ropes, smashes the computer, and luckily does not get injured. From yet another angle, it will look just as bad for Harry Terrell. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the, the thing is that wild overhand right uh, with and you, you can see down in the lower part of the corner Logan Hobson of punch profile trying to help Harry Terrell ladies and gentlemen referee Al Munoz reaches the count of 10 at 2 minutes 59 seconds of the very first round the 11th time this gentleman has had a first round KO his record now 18 and 0 16 KOs the winner Tommy the Duke, Hey!